and welcome back to the Wellness Check. Today we are talking about a certain type of brain spotting called gaze spotting, G-A-Z-E spotting. Um, this is maybe one of my most favorite things to do when it comes to brain spotting and you know how much I love all things brain spotting. Gaze spotting is something that I think came kind of sporadically from the client and I'm speaking from what I know about David Grand, the founder of brain spotting. Um, he came across it kind of by happenstance with one of his clients and now it's researched and validated and all of the good things and it is so easy to use, so easy to point out, so easy to um, introduce brain spotting maybe if you're feeling a little trepidatious about what brain spotting is. Gaze at spotting is something that you probably are already doing, you just don't even know it yet. So what is it? Have you ever spoken to someone, you're having a conversation with someone and you see him just kind of look at a certain spot? They're talking about something, but maybe they're just kind of gazing down like this as they're talking about it. We don't really think anything of it, but it's actually gaze spotting. So let me tell you a little bit more. When we're discussing something, maybe particularly something anxiety provoking or difficult, a tough patch in someone's life, watch where they look. This is a challenge to you just in your day-to-day -day life as you're conversing with people. Look at what their eyes are doing when they're talking about something, something activating, something troublesome. And likely you will notice their eyes fixate on a certain point. And if you watched my last video, then you know about where we look affects how we feel. You've learned what a visual field is and how important finding these spots are. The amazing thing is that our brains do this intuitively without our, even, our, our conscious mind even thinking about it. How cool is that? And you know I'm a brain nerd, so everything having to do with the brain and neurology I am all about. So again, focus. If you're talking to someone and you see them kind of staring off as they're talking about something, that is a gaze spot. What they're doing is when they're talking about that specific thing, their brain is intuitively and unconsciously going to that spot. And as they're talking about it, they're beginning to process. How do we translate that into something in the office, in a therapeutic setting, when we're getting ready to find a spot together for brain spotting or what have you? Well, we do it right there in the moment. If I notice one of my clients sitting there talking about something troubling or difficult, and I notice their eyes going to a certain spot, we just kind of take a little break and, and say something to the effect of, Hey, I noticed that when you're talking about this, you're looking like right over there. Have you noticed that? Did you notice that? Why don't you go ahead and, and purposefully now kind of put your eyes right back on that spot and just see what happens. So the client will become curious, most likely kind of like, what, what do you mean? What's happening? Go back to that spot. And now, especially with our, uh, with our conscious mind going into this, we, we're, we're zoning in on that one spot, you will see a lot of processing beginning to happen immediately, quickly. And it might go, the, the processing, what might be coming up in that person's mind might be exactly to what they were talking about before, the incident that they were kind of gazing at while talking before, or it might even go somewhere a little older and deeper which as we know, when we experience um, anything kind of troubling, traumatic, overwhelming, bad, sad, um, we tend to respond in a certain way in the here and now. So if we have a really big response to something in the here and now, and we're, we're saying to ourselves, why am I responding so much to this situation? Well, likely that event is connected to something older something in the history of your life, an old relationship, family of origin, another trauma, another similar feeling, experience, or belief. So we notice that this person is looking at this spot. We give attention to that, awareness to that. We encourage that person to look at that spot again. The processing starts happening on its own, sporadically and in a beautiful way. And it could stay right on that topic that they were talking about. Or like I said, it could go into these older 
um, similar kind of connected experiences. And that is, in a nutshell, what trauma processing is. And we're doing it all the time without even knowing it. I just think that's so cool. So if you just want to try something in your day-to-day life, watch people, watch their behaviors, watch what their eyes are doing when they're talking about something, especially if it's something that they are struggling with. And see if you can notice their eyes kind of landing on one spot. You don't have to say anything. You're not a brain spotting therapist. You do not have to process anyone's trauma. I encourage you not to. (laughs) But it's just something to notice that we do it all the time. I do it. Everybody does it. And I just think it's a beautiful way that our brain intuitively is wanting to heal. It's wanting to process things. It knows how to heal. It wants to heal. And it's going to find these little opportunities to do it. That's just so cool. So that's gaze spotting. It, it, there's more, a little bit more to it in the brain spotting um, setting in a therapeutic setting, but that's the gist of it, is that that's as easy as it can be. We're already doing it. Let's bring attention to it. Do it in the office with a brain spotting therapist and there's your spot. Let's go ahead and process. Let's go ahead and start the healing. How cool. Okay. Again, I hope you learned a little something today. Short little video on gaze spotting. It's an amazing thing. Okay, have a good day, and I'll see you soon.